<clears throat> Good afternoon. My name is uh, Kiri Lee. Today, I'm going to present the uh, my research of the assessment three, science in shots. I'm fond of playing um, video games or have been playing for like several years, actually most of my life. As far as I'm concerned, um, this it's a typical uh, it's typical to be subjected to toxic behaviors while playing video games. Three months ago, I was verbally abused while playing Overwatch game. Now, why do I tell you this? Um, because my objective with this presentation is to introduce the toxicity and its impacts on over Overwatch game players. The reasons of choosing Overwatch as a case studies are that this is a personal uh, pers first person shooting game which has over 40 million active players or at least used to be and it has been highly associated with toxic behavior. Toxic behaviors in video games refers to communicative aggressions, cheating, mediocratizing, in-game conflicts, griefing, harassing, harassment, sending offensive messages to other players, and so on. Communicative aggressions include verbal abuse, hate speech, and offensive or inappropriate uh, nicknames. The other communicative aggressions in Overwatch is re report threatening, cheating, is other toxic behaviors that disrupt the sense of fairness when, while playing Overwatch. There are three notes of for noted forms of cheating include scripting, smurfing, and rank boosting, and mediocratizing as a gameplay actions in which one which one does not show the interest of winning. It's also defined as one of the toxic behaviors. Moreover, since Overwatch game rely relies on formations of team, in-team complex that are arise as a result of failing coordinations or criticize criticism from other players, our teammates can be serious impl implications of the players. Toxic behaviors in video games might cause negative impacts on players. One of the impacts is that it would make players feel depressed. This might also escalate really quickly to depressive uh, suicidal thoughts. In addiction, some toxic behaviors such as trolling are also likely to cause a sense of inferiority to the other players and social extravagation amongst the players. There are more impacts on female players compared to male players. The toxic, uh, toxicity might decrease their motivations to play more video games in the future. Hence, lots of female players prefer to hide their genders or avoiding using voice com communications when they are playing an uh, Overwatch game or any other game actually. That reminds me of a shot that I seen yesterday that one of the female streamer trying to dodge a, dodge, dodge a game by using voice uh, voice in-game voice to scare off some of the other toxic players. Yeah. And okay, to address the problems of toxicity in gaming, there is need need to create a safer game environment, gaming environment that is free from the toxic behaviors and encourage uh, upstandard cultures of combating toxin, tox, toxic behaviors. Additionally, the developer of Overwatch are working are working to the policy of zero tolerance for toxic behaviors on their gaming community, like the other big uh, gaming firm trying to do but yeah they're doing a good job I think <clears throat> and that's all thank you for watching and thanks for your attention